Hi everyone, welcome back. Today is a very exciting video. I went to Walmart and got some new drugstore makeup that we are going to try out today for the first time. Some of it is uh, new launches, newer products, and then some of them are just things that are not new but I've never tried them before. So if you are interested in some new drugstore makeup, please keep watching. And if you're new, my name is Blair. I do all kinds of beauty and makeup content here on YouTube every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I hope you'll subscribe and let's go ahead and get into the video. All right, so I have all of these products that I got from Walmart and it's all drugstore makeup. I don't think I've ever done like a drugstore makeup haul. Maybe I have a long time ago, but I got a bunch of new stuff and some of them are new products. Some of them are just new to me and I just wanted to try them all out in a video. Since we haven't done any new makeup videos in May, I wanted to do some this month. So the first thing that I'm so excited to try, so excited to try, this is probably one of the things that excited me the most. And I don't think this is new, but this is by L'Oreal and it is the True Match uh, Corrector Stick. Super blendable, color correcting crayon concealer. And this one is called Shade Bisque, which is my shade in Bobbi Brown, the corrector. And I love that color for me. It's just the perfect tone. So I'm hoping this is going to be similar to that, and I think this was like $7 maybe, $8. I don't know that I've ever heard anyone talk about this. And actually, the only place I've ever seen this particular corrector is Walmart. So I've never seen it at Target or CVS or Walgreens or anything like that. So, ooh, it feels good. Okay, the color looks promising so there it is there let's actually compare it to bisque from bobby brown i'm curious okay so bisque is a good bit lighter looks like so here is bisque here is the l'oreal one so yeah a good bit darker but the tone of the l'oreal one looks really good so i am excited to try it out so we're gonna go in under the eye. I do kind of like this crayon style for under the eye. So I'm gonna apply it where I normally do. I'm also gonna bring just a little bit on my inner corner because I'm pretty dark there today. I did not sleep the best last night. So we'll do one eye at a time just so we can kind of see the difference. Okay, I'm gonna use the same brush I normally use from AOA Studios. And we'll just kind of tap this in. So the formula on this feels very, very lightweight and pretty hydrating and creamy. So there it is, blended out. I do think the color is actually pretty good. I don't know that it gives as much coverage as some of my other correctors just with one like swipe of product. So I'm thinking let's try adding just a little bit more and seeing what happens. I do think this came in a few different shades. I can't remember. I know there was a yellow, a green, the peach one and then I want to say there was like a darker peach so this eye has it and this eye does not definitely corrects a little bit it's not as much correction to me as some of my other correctors but for like a light makeup day you don't necessarily need a heavy-duty full full coverage corrector, but that's just kind of my first impression of it. I do like the formula though. It feels really good. So we'll go ahead and do this eye. I feel like this would be good if you are wanting something really, really thin and lightweight. This almost kind of reminds me of the 
consistency of the Bobbi Brown stick corrector. The Bobbi Brown, I think, is a little more on the matte side, whereas this one is definitely a little bit creamier, a little more hydrating. Okay, so I'll go ahead and tap this side in. So there it is. To me, it corrected a little bit more on my right eye, but the left eye for me is always a little bit darker. I think it's because this vein that I have underneath is like really, really prominent, but it did a pretty good job. Let me take just a little bit more. I do think that because this is so thin, you can definitely build it up. You don't have to worry about it getting super thick and cakey. So we'll just tap this in. I don't know that I would use this by itself. I would definitely want to go over it with just a little bit of concealer, but this is not bad. All right, so I don't have a new foundation or a concealer, so I'm just going to apply them quickly, but I figured I'll just film it and show you. I'm going to use L'Oreal True Match Nude Hyaluronic Serum in the shade Light. I'm just going to kind of swipe it on. I found this is the best way for me to apply this stuff. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and blend this in. I said this in my everyday makeup video for June, but I said that I wasn't a fan of this product, and then I applied it again in that video and I don't know what happened. I don't know if it just started looking better on my skin, but I, it just looks so much better than I remembered it looking before. So now I'm thinking this is going to be a new drugstore favorite for me, especially in this color when I have self tan on because it's really good match. For concealer, I'm going to use this one. I don't think I've used this in a video. So this is newer to me, but it's the Morphe Filter Effect Soft Radiance Concealer. I bought this a while ago. This is shade light number six. Technically, you can't get this at a drugstore, but the price is drugstore price to me. Just maybe a little bit more. I think this was like $12 maybe. All right, I am going to apply a little bit of powder. I'm just going to use the Maybelline Fit Me Powder in Translucent. This was not part of the haul. This is not new, but I do want to set my face with a little bit of something because we are going to try a new powder bronzer today. You probably can guess which one it is. So I just kind of want to lightly set my face with a little bit of the Maybelline powder. Okay, for the bronzer, I did get the new L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear Bronzer in the shade Light Medium. This was kind of hard to find. The only place I've actually seen it in store is Walmart. I think Ulta has it online, but I'm very impatient, you guys. When I decide I want to buy something, I want it like right then. I don't want to wait to order it. <laughs> That's just how I am. But anyway, this is what it looks like. I'll swatch it for you. I kind of had a hard time deciding what color to get. It's just kind of hard to tell. Ooh, I think this might be a good tone, though. That's it right there. Feels very silky. I think I'm going to use this Sephora 59 powder brush. I'm so used to using cream bronzers first now. It feels weird to use a powder bronzer. So there is a good bit of kick up in the pan. Just FYI if that bothers you. I don't know how pigmented this is, so I kind of tapped off a little bit on the back of my hand first. Ooh, okay, that's very nice. Actually, I think this light medium color is pretty perfect for me. I was really happy to see that they came out with 
I don't know, I think like eight different bronzer shades, maybe more than that. I feel like that is definitely not typical of a drugstore bronzer. Okay, yeah, this is blending out really beautifully. It's kind of reminding me of my Milani Silky Matte Bronzer, but it's kind of blending out even better. And I ring some down my neck also, but yeah, this looks really, really pretty and it is blending perfectly. Ooh, okay, so I made a good choice with this. I almost went with light, but I don't know, the light medium color just by looking at the pan looked like a really good tone. It's not super warm, but it's not super cool. I would say this is pretty neutral. Okay, I'm very excited about that. The only thing I will say is it did kind of break off like little, I don't know, little chunks of the bronzer when I dipped my brush in. So I don't know what that's about. But other than that, very impressed with that. For a blush, you guys, I just remember, of course I have two blushes because that's just who I am. And one of them is cream. I probably should have done this first. I bought this randomly from Walmart, but it was on the clearance. It was $6. I have never heard anyone say anything about this product, so I don't know if it's discontinued or what, but it was too pretty to pass up, and it's again from L'Oreal, and it's the Infallible Longwear Shaping Stick. It's a blush in the shade number 45, Sexy Flush. This is what it looks like. It's like a light baby pink, but I have never heard anyone talk about this. So I, you know I had to try it. So that's it there. It's a super light baby pink, but it looked kind of like that cool toned pink color that I'm very, very into right now. So we're going to do something I normally wouldn't do. I'm going to apply a little bit of this on over the powder and hope that it's okay. So I'm going to use the brush we used for foundation and just kind of tap this on. Now I would assume this probably came in other blush colors, but this was the only one that they had. So I don't know. I'll have to do some research when I put this video up and see maybe I can find it online or something because this color like I said is super light so if you're a lot darker than me this color is not going to show up on you you see it just gives like a tiny hint of like a baby pink but it's really pretty I like this color not super super pigmented because I'm just kind of adding more with my brush but it is kind of pretty if you have really fair skin this would probably be really beautiful on you yeah you can't really see it that much on me I mean you can kind of see it just slightly but it's not um, it's not super vibrant or anything but like I said if you have really fair skin I bet that would be pretty so I don't know I'm not sure what the deal is with this but I have never heard anyone talk about this but I did also get a powder blush and this has been on my wish list for a while but this is kind of hard to find and it's the Neutrogena healthy skin blush in the shade rosy usually you can find the bronzer the healthy skin bronzer that I always talk about I love that one but a lot of places don't have the blush I'm not sure why but I was able to find it at Walmart so we're gonna apply some of that over the top since that blush is not super pigmented I'm gonna use my Smashbox brush and just go over the top oh yeah yeah, this is the same formula as that bronzer from Neutrogena, and it's so good. But again, I think this is the only 
shade that this comes in but how pretty is this it's like the perfect pink with like just a hint of coral so good and pretty i really like this i'm gonna add a little bit more mm. okay this is really good i think this was only like five or six dollars too so if you can find this this is really good from Neutrogena. I just wish they would come out with more colors. Same with the bronzer. The bronzer, I did have it up here. I think I put it away. But the bronzer in Sunkissed is so, so good, but they need more colors. They need more colors. That's why I was so excited that this L'Oreal bronzer did come in different colors. I did get a new brow product. And I also have not heard anyone talk about this, but this is definitely a new product, but it's also from Neutrogena. It's the Micro Brow Tint Serum Pen. So let's see, is this supposed to... An on-the-go nourishing precision tipped pen that provides transfer proof and realistic hair-like finish, instantly giving natural looking brows, designed to condition and nourish the brows. Interesting. Okay, so you know that I love my NYX Lift and Snatch pen in Ash Brown. I use that one all the time, but I am very excited to try this. Mine is in new, or no, medium brown. Yeah, I think there were three, maybe four shades of this. It's cute. It's just a little pen. Looks like this. I feel like there aren't, well, I was gonna say I feel like there aren't that many brow pins from the drugstore, but I think there probably are. I just haven't tried them. So I already put my e.l.f. brow lift in my brows. So let me swatch this, or not swatch it, but just try it, ooh. Okay, so the color I think is gonna be good. That's it there, it's very, very tiny the tip of it is very tiny and precise which is good all right i probably won't be able to talk much while i'm doing this because i feel like i have to really concentrate okay love the tip of this this i think this is even smaller than the nyx one that i use a lot feels like it at least Let me just get my NYX pen. I don't know, maybe it's not. Well, actually the NYX, I feel like, is smaller now that I look at it. I don't know, something about this Neutrogena one feels a little bit easier to use, like to press down, I don't know. It could just be because it's new. Okay, I kind of feel like the tip of it is kind of getting a little bit dry, which that's kind of an issue with brow pens. Usually with my NYX one, I can kind of shake it, and it, this one has like a little ball in it that you can hear. This one does not have that. Okay, yeah, the color is really good, but I don't know, this is brand new and it's already kind of dry at the end. So I don't know about that. I mean, it worked really well when I first started, but then it seemed to kind of dry out a little bit. I'm gonna kind of brush through them. Okay, I did get some new eyeshadow to try. Neither of these are brand new, but they're new to me. I've never tried either of them. So the first thing I got, which I was so excited to find this at Walmart, and it's the e.l.f. Bite Size Quad, but it's in... I love you a latte. So this is one of their newer colors that came out of these and it's all matte neutral tones, which I love. I have a few of the bite size quads that came out a while ago and I really love the quality on those. They're very good. But then I also got this. I've always wanted to try Profusion eyeshadow and this was the nudes palette so you have 10 shades in here five shimmers or metallics and five 
matte shades. And I've heard that this formula from Profusion is really good. I've never tried it. So I got both of those, obviously super neutral because that's just what I do. So I'm trying to decide what I want to use today. I really want to use the e.l.f. palette for some reason. I did apply a little bit of an eye primer. It's not new or anything, so I didn't show that, but I am going to go in with the cream color and the e.l.f. palette, and I'm going to apply this all over. This is a good cream. You can already tell. That's always, I think I've said this before, but that's always a good sign with eyeshadow when you go in with like a matte cream shade first. If that shade is good, it usually means the palette is good in my experience. Okay, so now I want to use the next shade. This looks like the perfect transition shade. It's just a light warm brown. Okay, yeah, that's my kind of shade. I'm gonna bring a little bit of that down onto the lid also. And then just bring what's left back up into my crease. The shade is blending really well too, which is good. I used to have almost all of these bite size palettes from e.l.f. I ended up decluttering some of them just because some of the color stories weren't really things that I would use that often. But I do definitely know that the formula on those has always been really great. And I think this one seems to be the same. I'm gonna take a little bit of the cooler toned brown with more of a tapered brush and I'm gonna apply that on the outer corner. Oh yeah, that color is good. That blended so easily. I almost just kind of patted it on with my brush. This is the BK Beauty 202. Probably my most used eyeshadow brush that I own. Okay, yeah, that shade is really, really beautiful. It's like the perfect light, cool toned brown. Do I want to use some shimmer? I think I'm going to do a shadow wing probably with the dark brown, but I also really want to try out at least one of the shimmers in this palette so you have this really light champagne this more like kind of rosy color a gold kind of a warm hot chocolatey brown and then more of a bronze up here i'm gonna swatch so there are swatches those look really good swatch this middle one. Oh yeah Wow, okay, those swatch well. Oh yeah, those look pretty good. So that is it there. That's the first three shimmer shades. I kind of want to um, maybe just put a little bit of this rosy color on my lid. I think I'm gonna do that with my finger. Oh yeah, that's a really pretty rosy. Oh yeah, that's nice. Pretty good. Let me know if you've tried Profusion. I know they make a ton of eyeshadow palettes. They didn't have a ton in stock at this particular Walmart to choose from, but I thought that this definitely looked like something I would use. So that's exciting. I'll have to use these mattes in another video. I think, let me see here. I'm going to take the e.l.f palette again and I'm going to just mix those two shades we used in the crease and I'm just going to put a little bit of that on my lower lash line. All right I'm going to use the chocolate brown in the e.l.f. palette with my BK Beauty 208. It's just the little angled brush and 
I'm gonna try to do a shadow wing. I wanna see how this dark brown shadow is. So I'm kind of doing my trick where I start where my eye starts to slope down and kind of go straight out with it. And then I'm gonna come follow my lower lash line and kind of connect it up so I get the best angle since my eye is hooded. And then I just kind of fill in try to keep my eye open. I do have a whole video kind of explaining this wing that I do that I'll put a link above for you if you want to see that. I just find this is usually the easiest way for me to do a wing with my eye shape. Also this dark brown is very good. I can already tell it's not being weird or patchy or anything. All right, I did not get a new mascara, so you already know. I'm gonna use L'Oreal Voluminous Balm. I keep thinking I'm gonna have to get a new one of these, but I just keep using the same one. I definitely think it's gotten a good bit drier, but it still works. All right, I actually did not get a new lip product either. So I'm just going to do my NYX uh, Line Loud lip liner in Global Citizen. This is newer to me, but I love this. This is so good. Color is perfect. And then I'm just going to top that off with a little bit of the Maybelline Lifter Gloss in the shade Reef. And then I did get one more thing. This is definitely not a new product, but I'm like the last one <laughs> to the party on this. And I really hope I like it. It's the Milani Make It Last setting spray. And this one is the large bottle. I think Walmart is the only place that has the large bottle. I could be wrong, but it's the only place that I've seen it. And I don't know. I felt like I prob I'll probably like this. Hopefully I do since this is a very large bottle. I've heard this is supposed to be a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury spray. We will see. That one is my all-time favorite. So I'm curious to see how this compares. Okay, the Mister seems to be pretty good. I th feel like the Mist is a little more fine. Seems a little more fine than the Charlotte Tilbury. Let's see. Yeah, the mister on this is definitely a little more fine and a little more spread out. It's not kind of like a very light veil of spray. Obviously, it's kind of hard to tell what you think about a setting spray just by spraying it on your face. It does have a little bit of a smell, but it's not like anything super crazy. With my Charlotte Tilbury spray, I definitely do think that spray helps with the longevity of my makeup. So I'll be curious to see how my makeup wears today with that new spray. All right, you guys, that is going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. I missed trying new makeup. There's just something about it, you know, especially drugstore stuff. I don't do, I don't feel like I don't get a ton of new drugstore things all at once. So this was really fun. Standout products to me from this video would definitely be the L'Oreal bronzer. This is very, 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 very good. I, You know what? The formula kind of reminds me of the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. But I want to say this might even blend better than the Charlotte Tilbury. I don't know. It's kind of a bold claim to make, but... First impression of this is very, very good. Um, what else did I love? The blush from Neutrogena. I kind of knew I was going to love this because I love the bronzer. But this is a very good drugstore blush that I feel like does not get a whole lot of love. 
and the eyeshadows the eyeshadows very much impressed me definitely the little elf bite size quad if you want something really good and neutral if you're not a fan of shimmers you would probably love this and the shimmers that i did try from this i really like i'll definitely use this again in another video those really impressed me the corrector is pretty good um it didn't blow me away but it's pretty good and it layered well with concealer over the top which is nice um, this blush is nice I don't think it's like absolutely necessary but I think the main reason for that is this color is just a little bit light and especially right now I have a little more color so it doesn't show up as much but it's not bad um, anything else we tried the spray the spray I'll have to let you know I got to test it out a little bit more see what I think oh and the pen this I thought was going to be really good and promising I just don't know about it drying up already because this is brand new product you know but I do like the applicator I like the color yeah I feel like the tip of it is just getting a little bit dry pretty quickly so I don't know about that I'll have to keep trying it out but Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up and I hope you'll subscribe if you're new and follow me over on Instagram at simply.blair. I will see you next time. Remember, simply be you. Bye.